that, that was a snake. <laughs> Look how low the ceiling is here. <laughs> hey guys, we are heading to the caves. ¿Cómo se llaman los cuevas? Chocantes. Chocantes, cuevas. Igualito a ti. <laughs> the Chocantes Caves. <laughs> we are in Tecash, Yucatan. We gotta drive down this little dirt road to get there. <laughs> That's one heck of a rough road. I'll show you the caves as soon as we get there. We have arrived, this is the parking lot for the Gru Gruta Chocolates. Chocantes. Oh yeah. Chocantes, chocantes. Ay. What <laughs> there is. Editor video. <laughs> we have arrived here at the parking lot for the Gruta Chocantes. We're the only persons here. Just our rental car, nobody else here. Let's go check them out, guys. After the parking lot, it's a bit of a hike down this rough rocky trail to get to the Grutas Chocantes here in the city of Tecash, Yucatan. This is a place that no tourist ever visit because it's just kind of out of the way but it's a beautiful beautiful town. We have a, several videos from this place make sure you check them out on my channel Doug P vlogs after a little bit of a hike we have arrived Gruta Chocantes La Gruta de los Cristales Save the planet. Hola amigos, bienvenidos a la gruta. Take care of the trees. Do not throw garbage. Right down there. La tirolesa. If you're enjoying this video and you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Those who have subscribed, give us a comment. Give us a like. And this is it. Wow, well, they we even have a zip line. I hope I can get on this one. Okay, I couldn't fit on the last one. Here we are guys, when you get here, it's 300 pesos per person, that includes going to the cave, that includes the zip line, they give you a helmet and everything for the cave, and you first come to this big thatch roof palapa, they got bathrooms so you can use the bathrooms, and relax and get organized, and we are in deep jungle here very very deep jungle this is really cool we are in Tekash Yucatan here the guide is explaining to us about the magic powers of these trees and what the Mayans use them for we are now hiking up the mountain to get to the Grutas Chocantes, the Chocante Caves. It's all solid rock here. And in the caves we're going to go 44 meters down. This was where the Mayans used to get their water from. It's just a natural little cave. And the Mayans would cover this up and they would have these little channels here where the water run in and then it would be sealed up so the animals can't drink any water. And they would get their fresh water here. Well, up in the hills here, up in the mountains, where water was pretty scarce. 
This plant you see here, guys, is called shot. And the mines use these as straws because inside it is hollow. You can see a little bit here where one is broken open, but it's hollow on the inside. So this was a Mayan straw. Wow. These leaves here is called shkalat. And they gave this to women that are going to have babies. They made like a tea out of the leaves. That made them vomit. Oh, made them vomit. Yeah, so the contraction that they had when they're vomiting, going like this, they put the baby in place and faster to come out. Oh, because, all right. There you heard really, it, guys. really, bitter. That's how the Mayans did back in their days. Here are we going down and we are heading to the entrance of the cave. And we came from up there. In fact, they use tires to make stairs. It's a good way to recycle. It's nice on the feet. This is the entrance of the cave here. Oh well. So the guy has to say a prayer in Mayan, asking permission to the Mayan gods to allow us into the cave. Look at this. Wow. I've talked quiet because the guy is praying in the Mayan language at the entrance of the cave. Just look at this amazing place. Before we enter this cave, we have to leave an offering of like a rock or something for the god of death. Mayan god death lives in this cave, so I leave this rock for him. This is the entrance, you guys sit down. And turn around. And we go down. This will be very interesting for me because I am not agile. You climb down a ladder made out of sticks. So, I'm climbing into the cave now. Down a wooden stick ladder. Wow. Check it out. Well, it's a long ways down. Look at that. Oh wow, this is cool. Look at this, guys. Mm -hmm. oh. Look at that, guys. Oh wow. Look at the geckos here. Look, there's lots of geckos, I guess. Up there, there's a whole bunch of them. I don't know if you could see it on the camera. Here's one up close. This cave is the largest cave here in the Yucatan. We 
we're still descending down into the cave 44 meters down and the rocks the rocks are very slippery very very slippery I'm going way down there estos minerales al extraerlos los cortaban y los empezaban a soltar de esta manera y entre esos golpeteos se desprendían pequeños fragmentos como estos estos fragmentos lo tomaban lo posaban en esta parte y los iban moliendo a que quedara como polvo Sí, ellos buscaban esta especie de polvito here we have some Mayan pottery down here. Look at that. See this rock here, guys? It's all minerals. And what they would do, they would scrape the rock to get this dust. And this dust to mix with clay to make pottery like this. This is real. Mayan stuff. Look, we gotta climb down that hole even further down. Check this out. Wow. Wow. We gotta climb through this little hole now to get to another cave down below. I forgot to mention, I was mentioning it and then I lost my train of thought. This cave is in a total of seven and a half kilometers long. It is the largest cave in the Yucatan here in Mexico. This is a tight squeeze here. A really tight squeeze. I kind of got to slide down the ladder. Oh, here I am. I am down. So you have to slide down, okay? Yeah. I pretty much gotta go down here sliding on your butt and we just saw a bat we are still descending farther down into the cave Very treacherous, very treacherous walk here. And the guy says, guy says, whatever you do, don't go straight there. Because it's a 200 meter fall. If you go down there, 200 meters down before you uh, hit the bottom. We are going way down there, guys. Wow. Look at this, guys. Es una parte de una mandíbula humana. Look here. Ahí se ve claramente la mandíbula. Human skull. There's a human skull right there from the Mayans. 
That's it there. Check it out. And we're going further down. Down there. Look at this. We're going further down. Can we go down 44 meters? So I'll put right here how much that is in feet. It's a long ways down. Do a wrong step and you fall into one of these, you'll be a problem. It's a good thing to have. Have little railings here. Here's a piece of Mayan pottery laying there. You're allowed to touch, you just leave everything in its, in its space. See, everything here is clay. Everything is clay that they used to make the pottery. And we're going further down now. Guys, we just sat down here and we turned off all our lights, everything off, pitch dark for like 15 20 minutes and nobody made a sound it was really amazing sitting here in the pitch dark you could not see anything we we're completely blind and for a while completely silent it was really cool feeling experiencing something like that okay now I gotta get down here and then the guy the guide he was telling us some stories about the owls and that that the Mayans believe in How it warns when it flies over. Oh, don't hold on to that one. When it flies over your house, it warns you something bad might happen. And he was also, oh, look at that. See the crystals are what growing back there on the rocks. So he was telling us the story. And then he was he was speaking to us in my language, telling us a story in the pitch dark. I am Mexican, and you obviously we are all Mexicans. Tienes muchos allá atrás de ti, sí, sí. En serio, es que es que me quiere. Ah, eh, mira. Uh -huh. Look here guys, here's more Mayan pottery, the handle, the guy didn't even see this, look at that, Mayan pottery down here, there. That's the quartz right there. Can you see it? It's sparkling. Look guys, there's actually water here. There is water here. We are going further down, as you can see. Wow. I am sweating bullets. Everybody else says they're cool, but I am actually sweating. I'm like soaking wet with sweat. Strange. 
y también no, no, son 100. De 100 a 110 sí. años. Sí, sí, sí. Son quartz crystals here. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Systolic nights are growing here. They are growing. See that little by little? Water droplets. Then it hardens over time and they get longer and longer. This is the kind of fungus that grows down here. See the stalactites, how they grow, see the water droplet there. And over millions of years, they just get longer and bigger and bigger. This is one at one time, and they just join together and turn into a giant one. Stalactites. Tights. And down there is water drops and the stalagmites begin growing. See here you can see the stalactites being formed. See the water droplet on end. Instead of mites on the bottom, working their way up. Look at that. I don't know how much you could see there. Look, this is of Mayan stuff. There's a bunch of Mayan pottery. It was all found down in this cave. We are 44 meters below the surface of the earth here. Really far down. This is totally worth it. They have another tour. They have another tour that lasts like 10 hours. That's an extreme tour. You have to make a reservation for that one. Look at this here. That's why they call it the crystals. Look how that shines. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Este tipo de roca se le conoce en la lengua maya como toc tunich o piedra toc. Es una roca muy rígida y muy compactada. Incluso esta This roca, rock is known in Mayan as toc tunich. si sacamos un pedacito, lo aventamos al fuego, se calienta esta estalla y nos puede llegar a perforar la piel. Como una bala. Sí, incluso los albaniles cuando les llevan piedra. Here we have another one, guys. A stalagmite joined with the stalactite and made this natural column. Look at that. There are others there that have broken off, other ones forming.
Look down there. Piece of pottery, guys. Look at that. And that's painted with tree sap to with get the colors. Ellos utilizaban un árbol muy conocido que es el chucum. El chucum, la corteza del árbol, o de una manera vulgar, pelaban el árbol. Mm -hmm. Ese chucum lo remojaban en baldes de agua sí. y de ahí sacaban la tinta. Tintas. Sí. Incluso la cultura maya fueron los primeros en inventar el color azul maya. Es un color muy eterno y a pesar de que pase un buen de años, siempre conserva la misma intensidad y el mismo sí. color vivo del azul maya. Wow. Bueno, ahora vamos a pasar a conocer hubo otra pequeña cascada y les voy a dar a conocer la vida y la muerte ya de los minerales. I don't know if it'll sparkle like this on camera, but here this dirt, it is sparkling because it's full of pieces of crystal. It might not show up in camera, but in real life, everything is just sparkling here. Es como son coral, son tercos, porque no obedecen a la ley de la gravedad, eso los hace excéntricos y exóticos y crecen de manera curva como estos. Okay, the minerals they glow, and up on top here, look, they have weird shapes, like there's no gravity. Wow, look at that. Look at this one here, shaped almost like a corn cob. The minerals from the stalactites. Wow. There's actually some water down there. Look at those stalactites. How huge they are. They must be millions of years old. Here we have another stalagmite. Formed together with the stalactite. See right there. This probably took several million years to form and now it's a column holding up the top of the cave and here it's still growing, getting thicker and thicker all the time. Look at that. That will eventually join with the piece down here. Wow. Stick my hand in here again. I don't know what you're seeing. Hopefully it looks good. Yeah, here we go. Look at this interesting stalagmite there. 
Looks like a statue. Some of the water is dripping onto it. Give me your comments, please. Tell me your comments. What do you think about this one? That's probably two million years old. Look at this, guys. It's a uh, uh, albino. Centipede, centipede, a little bug. It's an albino bug. What's it called? Let me know in the comments. I forgot the word. Okay, it has never seen light, so it has never got any color to it. Wow. Look at this, guys, the minerals. How oh, it's seeping out of the rocks. And look underneath there. Look at that. It's piled up like snow. With the naked eye, you can see how it sparkles. It's just sparkling like diamonds. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. I can't see it on my screen sparkling, but maybe in real life you can see it when you watch it on your TV or phone. Some piece of mine pottery there. In this section here, when the Mayas needed to sacrifice somebody, they would lay the woman down there. They would cut out her heart while she was alive, rip it out of her chest. Then they would cut the heart in half. Over here they would have a fire. And where they would cook the heart. They'd have a fire here where they would cook the heart. Half the heart would be thrown over there for the gods. And the other half of the cooked heart, the priest who did the sacrifice would eat it. So they were, in a way, cannibals. Look at these rock formations. Look at that. This is from the time of the dinosaurs. And then the Mayans. Caves were very holy sites for the Mayans. Look at the God of Death. And all that used to be down here. So this was a very special place for the Mayans. It is Mayan pottery. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Look at that bug, an albino centipede. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's the stomach guys Yeah, there's another one. Yes, I'm going to pass there. Don't step on no. the bottom. That's a big one. <laughs> 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 it's a gigante. 
Let's do some. Okay, that's guys. Complete albino. Y con la luz me imagino que le lastima. Solo la primera iluminación, ya después se adapta. Oh. Here inside this huge cave. Wow, look at that one. That's centipede has never seen life. I mean light. <laughs> life. Has never seen light in his ah, life. Que no hay que ir ahí, no hay so it has no colors. Totally white. Look at all the minerals coming out of the ceiling. Wow, with your light, I could take good pictures. Where's the minerals? Uh, the, the, the gas? You can see it on the, on the, in the ear. Yeah. With the light, you can see it. It's like a very soft mist. This cave keeps on going down there, but that is the 10 hour trek if you keep going down there, so we're not dealing with that. Yo necesito ponerle. ¿Estás bien? Vamos a sacarte de nuevo de las piedras. We are in Tecash, Yucatán, Mexico. You guys come here. You need to do this cave tour. This tour that we did, 300 pesos, it's a like two and a half hours and have another one I don't know how much it cost it's over 10 hours I I might try the 10 hour one next time I get back to the city but I'm really happy with this one Some parts are really slippery and hard to get up, but it's great. I am soaking wet with sweat. I mean, I feel I feel like I jumped into a swimming pool. I am that wet. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy how wet I am. But totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Sadly, what goes down go. must go up. It's the complete opposite of the saying, but now we need to go. 44, 44 meters up to get out of this cave again. It's a long, hot trek up. This section here is super. Okay, we won't touch the right side, only the left here. Yeah, super slippery. Look okay, here, a little, a little cave off the trail. 
porque si no se van a golpear la cholla. Wow. Okay. Oh, here we keep going up. Look at this, this is really, really treacherous. What is that? Oh, it's a rope. I saw that, that was a snake. I thought it was a snake. <laughs> Look how low the ceiling is here. No, I have to. No, Yubi. It's a soga. Wow, look down there, guys. Wow. I wish I had a, that rope and I lowered the camera down there. So the ceiling is very low here. I can see how I crawl out. I can't stand, as you can see. Sí. Es todo el agua que carga. ¿Quieres ayuda? Ya, ya, ya. Vamos a ver. 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 Vamos a Cuidadito a yeah. la rosa. Eso. Vamos. Salir de este Para acá, mírame dónde estoy. Tras yeah. ¿Mm? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Ah, ya lo vi, ya lo vi aquí. Sí. Si quieren, pueden descansar, beber agua. Ahí está. Se me va a meter el gusanito. We are making headways. Okay. No, si eso es, gusanito se deberá, se mueve. Sí, ¿vas a tomar agua? Time for a little break here. Then we keep on going. Goodbye, beautiful cave. You were fun. This is a great workout on top of an interesting tour. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's my chin strap. Great workout, interesting tour, all in one. I don't know if you can see it, but this steam coming from underneath my helmet because I am so hot and it's actually cool in here which I don't feel anything cool I feel I feel a lot of heat but guys I hope you enjoyed this tour it was totally worth it oh we're not out yet totally totally worth it you come here to Tekash give it a try 300 pesos okay where did I step so I don't slip 300 pesos absolutely worth it oh Oh, I thought I had to go up there. <laughs> I got scared for a moment. Here's the trail. And we didn't see any snakes. 
we saw one bat for a second. Look, I have to squat here. Look how low it is. Bang my head one more time. That's why we wear a hard hat. I see light at the end of the tunnel up there. So guys, thank you for watching. We're gonna step here. Thank you for watching. And until next time, lots more videos coming from Mexico. I need to go hotel, take a shower and jump into the pool. Bye bye. Oh, and I need a Coke from OXO. Everybody left. I'm still here because I was talking. Oh, I thought we were out. We're not out yet. Okay. We're getting closer, getting out. I thought we were out. No. Oh. No, I don't see it. That's okay. I don't. I, I don't care. Okay. Oh, oh, eso, eso es gasolina. Sí, es oh, posible. Yeah. I saw that bottle earlier. I thought it was water. It's actually gasoline. If you stuck in here, they say you make a little fire so that the smoke so that the smoke comes out and they can tell there's somebody down in the cave of course making a fire inside a cave you have to cry here okay yeah of course making a fire inside a cave is not really the best idea but they say they have it close to the exit so that you're safe I don't know I don't know about that idea but anyway yeah they say because here it's close to the opening so it's a lot easier Yes, I'm going to go to the And my light is out. So. No, no. No? I got one. My light is out, so I can't film anymore. So, enjoy the video, guys. We shall see you next time. harder to get out than this to get in. <laughs> it doesn't help that I'm long, tall and fat. Tall and fat.
programa, ya. Un programita ya. Solo le modifican los códigos y ya le rápido. ¿Cómo yeah. andamos? Bien, mi pantalón está cayendo. ¿En serio? Sí. Look at these rocks. A gui our guide says that this cave usually, actually used to be underwater millions of years ago. I don't know. You know something about rocks? Let me know in the comments. But they're all full of holes. It almost looks like something from the sea.